Hi, my name is Michael Buckoff and this is BetterTOEFLScores.com. Now, if you're interested in taking the TOEFL test, you need to pay attention to this video. Now, let's talk about what this test is. Now, consider this fact. You want to know what you're getting into. And let's say that the TOEFL test, in some sense, represents your enemy. When I say enemy, it's a challenge, it's an obstacle, which prevents you from getting something else that you may want. Now, most students, maybe you, you have a goal. Your goal is not really just TOEFL. Your goal, maybe, is to get a graduate or undergraduate degree or to complete some type of professional program or to advance uh, uh, professionally in your own job, right? So this is kind of what you want to do, but the TOEFL is the obstacle which prevents you from getting to these things. So you need to really understand what this TOEFL is about. Now, first of all, Let's talk about the purpose of the TOEFL. We'll talk about different parts of the TOEFL. We'll talk about how the TOEFL is actually scored. Now, thousands of universities use this test and they use it to make important decisions such as admissions, scholarships, and decisions regarding undergraduate and graduate study. And millions of students take this test so they can enter respected universities in the United States, United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. The TOEFL IBT is an important test, and whether it's passed or not will determine whether you do get accepted into one of these programs. Now, the actual test consists of reading, listening, speaking, and writing. It takes about four and a half hours to complete the test, and you actually get a 10-minute break uh, after the listening section. The cost of the test varies, but it's approximately $150, and good news, no taking is allowed on all parts of the test. Let's talk about the reading section. The reading section takes 60 to 100 minutes and has three 750 word reading passages with 36 to 70 questions measuring your ability of comprehending and analyzing these texts. The listening section takes 60 to 90 minutes and has two conversations, each of which is three to five minutes long. It has four lectures. Each of the lectures are three minutes long. And it has 34 to 51 questions measuring your ability to understand what you just heard. The speaking section is the shortest section. It's only 20 minutes and it has six speaking tasks, but be careful. It's short, but very fast. Many students tell me the speaking part of the TOEFL is just too fast for them. So you must prepare for that. The first two speaking tasks are either asking you to express an opinion on a topic or to choose a preference between two choices. The last four speaking tasks are harder and they require you to either read, listen, or speak in relation to a campus-related topic, to read, listen, and speak in relation to an academic reading to uh, list, uh, topic, and uh, to listen and speak in relation to a campus-related topic. And finally, uh, to listen and speak in relation to an academic-related topic. The test taker is given 15 to 30 seconds to prepare and 45 to 60 seconds to give you responses. The writing section, taking about 50 minutes, has two tasks. In the first writing task, a test taker is given 30 minutes to write on a familiar topic. In the second writing task, uh, you'll be given 20 minutes to read, listen, and write in response to two different academic sources. Okay, let's talk about scoring. The scores in the TOEFL IBT range from 0 to 120, each section receiving a scaled score from 0 to 30. The scaled scores in the reading and listening sections are based on the number of correct answers. Human raters score the speaking task from 0 to 4, the sum of which are converted into a scaled range of 0 to 30. Like the speaking section, human raters also score the two writing tasks, and they score these from 0 to 5, and the sum of which are converted into a scaled score of 0 to 30. Though each university sets its own admissions policies, a lot of universities are very happy with a score of 60 or 61 for undergraduate study, and many graduate programs at many universities are happy with a score of 80 to 81. For more information, you can go to 
idea, michaelbuckoff.com.